Welcome to the Narcissistic Abuse Survivors Support Group, a haven where we extend our hands to individuals affected by the assiduous nature of narcissism. If you find this video insightful and helpful, please consider showing your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming content. Today's topic delves into a complex issue, how to manage relationships with vulnerable narcissists. While a previous video focused on repelling grandiose narcissists, this video aims to provide guidance when dealing with the more vulnerable side of narcissism. People often seek ways to avoid forming romantic or work relationships with narcissists due to various reasons, and these strategies can apply to other contexts as well. Let's begin by briefly exploring narcissism, differentiating between grandiose and vulnerable narcissists. Both exhibit traits such as self-centeredness, entitlement, a constant need for admiration, and disagreeable behavior. However, they differ significantly as well. Here are signs of grandiose narcissism. Grandiose narcissism is characterized by high extroversion, low neuroticism, and low agreeableness. Traits include arrogance, condecision, superficial charm, emotional detachment, and resistance to criticism. Vulnerable narcissists, on the other hand, exhibit low extroversion and high neuroticism. Traits include distrust, resentment, insecurity, shame, social awkwardness, emotional coldness, and sensitivity to criticism. Why would someone want to repel a vulnerable narcissist? Well, the motivations may vary, but here are a few reasons. Vulnerable narcissists struggle with trust, making it challenging to establish deep connections. Similar to grandiose narcissists, they may resort to conflicts and even guilt tripping as a form of conflict management and revenge. Vulnerable narcissists can exhibit selfish behavior and have difficulties empathizing with others. Although the risk is lower compared to grandiose narcissists, vulnerable narcissists still pose a threat to relationship stability. Vulnerable narcissists may express aggression differently but it can still harm relationship quality and satisfaction. So what makes repelling a narcissist challenging? Why provide a list of strategies? It's important to understand that due to the deceptive nature of vulnerable narcissism, individuals can experience short-term romantic success as their intensity and emotional and physical intimacy can be alluring. However, repelling them becomes crucial if long-term romantic interests are what you desire. Therefore, it's essential to know how to repel a vulnerable narcissist so that you can experience the quality of relationship that you desire. When applying strategies to repel a vulnerable narcissist, it's essential to identify their characteristics and adapt the techniques accordingly. Keep in mind that some strategies that repel vulnerable narcissists might attract grandiose narcissists, so discernment is key. Number one, encourage independence. Avoid doing things for the vulnerable narcissist that they can do for themselves. This strategy aligns with symptoms of dependent personality traits where individuals seek support and care. By not offering unwarranted assistance, you make yourself less attractive to them. Number two, assess genuineness. If they volunteer to help you but seem inauthentic, discourage their involvement. Vulnerable narcissists often volunteer for unpleasant tasks to build relationships. By rejecting their insincere offers, you can repel them. Number three, encourage decision-making. Don't make decisions for them as they may struggle with decisiveness. Encourage them to make choices independently, pushing them away by highlighting their indecisiveness. Number four, delay physical intimacy. Avoid moving the relationship to a physical level too quickly. If they express interest in a short-term relationship, appear uninterested, as this goes against their strengths and emotional intimacy. Number five, set clear boundaries. 
Let them know where they stand in your life, indicating rank or status. This strategy aligns with the idea that vulnerable narcissists tend to overestimate the intimacy of a relationship. Number six, react positively to departure talk. When they mention leaving, respond with pleasant surprise rather than clinging. By showing support for their decision to leave, you discourage their attachment. Number seven, reject friendship offers. If they propose friendship related to activities, firmly convey that you prefer things the way they are. By rejecting their overtures, you signal your disinterest in deepening the relationship. These strategies are not meant to deceive or manipulate, but rather to communicate your boundaries and avoid entering a relationship with a vulnerable narcissist. They typically cause harm in the context of a relationship, so it's better to prevent one from forming in the first place. The importance of knowing how to repel narcissists cannot be overstated, especially for your own peace of mind and well-being. Narcissistic individuals can be incredibly toxic and detrimental to our mental and emotional health. However, it's often challenging because many people find themselves entangled with narcissists, often in love or in close relationships with them. But understanding the need to set clear boundaries for narcissism repellence is crucial for several reasons. First and foremost, your peace of mind is a precious and non-negotiable aspect of your life. When you're involved with a narcissist, their manipulative and self-centered behaviors can leave you feeling constantly anxious, drained, and invalidated. By learning to repel narcissists, you regain control over your life and your own mental and emotional state, creating a more serene and balanced life. It's essential to recognize that despite the initial allure of narcissists, Loving someone, whether a partner, friend, or family member, should never come at the expense of your own self-worth and emotional health. True love in any relationship must begin with self-love. Setting clear boundaries to repel narcissistic behavior is an act of self-love. It's about asserting your worth, value, and emotional well-being and refusing to accept mistreatment or manipulation from others. Furthermore, by repelling narcissists, you create space for healthier, more fulfilling relationships in your life. Narcissistic individuals are often incapable of providing the emotional support, empathy, and respect needed for a loving connection. By prioritizing your own peace of mind and self-respect, you open the door to relationships built on trust, kindness, and genuine love. You must recognize that repelling narcissists is not an act of selfishness. It's an act of self-preservation. It's a way of safeguarding your mental and emotional health, allowing you to flourish and thrive in your life. Learning how to set boundaries and repel narcissists is a transformative process that can lead to greater self-empowerment, confidence, and inner peace. Lastly, as you begin to set these clear boundaries that act as narcissism repellents, you're also sending a powerful message to others that you value and respect yourself. This in turn invites healthier individuals into your life who will treat you with the love and respect you deserve. Remember, you are worthy of a life filled with peace, happiness, and authentic love. And it all starts with learning how to repel narcissists and setting boundaries that protect your well being. Please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments as it sparks valuable discussions. Also, please visit our description section and grab a copy of our free workbook intended to help you work through narcissism and narcissistic abuse through journaling and writing. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.